Hello there, welcome to my Scottish tour. Uh, I've just left my house in Bedfordshire and we're heading up to Scotland. It's going to take me all day to ride up to Scotland. I've been travelling at about 60 miles an hour most of the time, but there have been some 50 mile an hour limits, uh, so we've uh, been a bit slower than I thought we'd be. We should get to Scotland uh, by about six o'clock and uh, we're heading to Dumfries to start with where we're staying the night. I think I could do without these 50 mile an hour average speed limit uh, bits along the M6. It's really slowing me down. This is endless. 50 mile an hour zones on the M6. Not that I want to go much faster, but uh, slightly tedious with the congestion. Well, we've finally made it. We're at the top of the M6. I've done over 260 miles. Uh, we've still got another 50 miles to go, but uh, the landscape's getting a bit prettier. There's certainly less cars. Um, I'm still going around 60 miles an hour. The wind is uh, pretty crazy. But the, uh, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's very hot. I don't know what the temperature is. 26 degrees at the moment. According to my bike. Okay, so I think we're in Scotland. We finally made it. And it's still sunny. sure if you can hear me on this but uh, the wind is really it's crazy so the reason why I chose this route was because um, there's a nice little photo stop so we're very much just off the beaten track now so we're going to find the River Sark. I would say one other thing. The roads in Scotland already are amazing. They're so flat. There's no potholes. I mean, they're not like glass, but they they feel grippy. I know the sun's out and it's dry, but uh, there's very little to complain about them at the moment. They just look clean and well kept. Much better than English roads. So you're approaching Dumfries and uh, the road is come onto a ridge where we can look out. We're looking west. Looking pretty, all green. Still no clouds. Morning, morning. It's the start of my tour. It is day two. Um, had a bit of an epic ride up here yesterday. Um, but yes, it's we're going to uh, ride around the Galloway Forest Park today. Might get to the coast if we're lucky. And then, uh, sorry, just negotiating the traffic, thinking what I'm doing, making some decisions. 
<coughs> yeah, I can't believe the weather. Um, it's a slight long story about why I'm now doing this in June and not in May. But uh, yes, I cannot be uh, more thankful for no nice blue skies. Got my new mesh jacket on. My Furigan mesh jacket, it's very nice, in blue. And uh, I'm nice and breezy today. Yesterday I was in my Helvarsons uh, laminate and my God, it was hot. I always tell myself to uh, not wear it when it's so hot, but when you're riding so far, I rode, uh, I think it was 340 miles yesterday. Um, from Bedfordshire all the way up to all the way up to uh, Dumfries which is where I am today so this morning we're gonna head to Port Patrick which is basically west and uh, although we're going a bit although we're going a bit north at the moment but northwest and uh, we're gonna look at I want to see whether the Galloway Forest Park is actually a forest or whether it's just uh, says it is and yeah, it's a bit like the new forest you know there's not many trees in it yeah I've got my sat nav it says it's gonna be it's gonna take about an hour and a half but to be honest I want to take my time got all day but yeah I haven't done one of these tours for I think probably Well, I think it's, I think it's been a year. I think it was uh, last August I did one of these. So I'm a bit rusty. So I will get lost and I will ramble on a little bit. But hopefully we can have some fun. Hopefully I won't be sitting behind traffic like all this. I might have to get past this. Give me a minute. Oh, it's nice to open her up. I'll tell you what, I was, um, I was, um, I was coming up here on panniers. And, my God, it was windy. I think it was the, the air turbulence from the, um, from the panniers. But, crikey, this, it feels much better. Breezy. Feels good. So I've only got a t-shirt under here and I'm doing 50 miles an hour and this is proper good. It's got all my padding in it, got D3O in it. River Neaf. I didn't see a river. Oh, there it is. Lots of cows. I've seen a lot of cows recently. So I'm talking bollocks already. So we're going to Stran Ra. Port Patrick and if you imagine the UK uh, Scotland's at the top and in the bottom left corner of Scotland there's a hammerhead shaped island that sticks out the side and that's the top of that hammerhead is uh, Stranra and um, the middle of the hammerhead on the on the extreme uh, west is Port Patrick um, so I'm hoping it being so isolated it might be quite picturesque but it is a guess and uh, with a lot of these things if you don't go you don't know
the bike so much lighter without 10 kilos of luggage on the back. A75 to Stranra has got a really good road, good surface, nice twisties, so it's got some roundabouts on it though. Yeah, in my luggage I've brought, um, I, I, I was wearing my Helvarsons um, pants and jacket coming up here with my rucker gloves and I thought oh could I get a summer outfit you know like a mesh jacket and summer gloves you know they're not waterproof or anything like that and uh, yes I managed to do it so now I'm riding in jeans with my with my canvas boots my style martin boots and res resurgence jeans and uh, my crew again mesh jacket and none of them I wore riding up. More money than sense really. But it does pay off because uh, if I was riding today in this heat, and let's just check the heat because it's like, it's 21 already and it's only half past 10. So you sweat like a pig and it becomes so uncomfortable you make bad decisions. And I don't mind being a bit chilly because I've got a, a rainproof I can put on, which is, uh, sorry, not a rainproof, a uh, windproof, which uh, will cut out the breeze if I'm getting a bit too chilly. And I've worn that on commutes and it's been really good. Um, and obviously it's waterproof. So it's, uh, although if it did rain, I, I'm screwed because uh, my jeans love water. They'll drink it all day. But I think we'll be alright today. I think it's like 2% chance of rain. Even in Scotland. This is the Royal Burr of Stranra. Here are the islands over there in the distance. I'm assuming that's just a little bit more of the land, the mainland I mean. Whereas right over there you might not be able to see it but there's a, like a domed island. It's alright though, it's very quiet. See how pretty it is. It's a big enough house, isn't it? <laughs> so 
far is a bit sleepy. So what have we got? Place to eat. Well that's alright isn't it? Where we're leaving Port Patrick. It's all very nice. Quite a nice harbour, took some photos. Now we're going to go to the Galloway Forest Park where uh, there's Lake Truel. I went to the uh, Harbour Hotel Bar restaurant, had a wrap, a coffee. Very nice, a bit windy. All the napkins blowing everywhere. I've put some new earplugs in so I'm not completely deafened. I don't think earplugs last for much more than a couple of hours. It'd be interesting to know everybody else's thoughts about that. So this is the village of Glenluche or Glenluche or Glen Glenlice. Luce. Let's see if it was worth all the all the hassle. Moldy buildings. Only one ride in this road. I think we're in the Galloway Forest Park. There's huge clumps of spruce, maybe, or pine. I don't know what the difference is. Well, there's different woodland here. This path is a bit, sorry, this road is a bit treacherous. Watch out for the patches of patches of gravel. Cook Cohen. So we've got 13 miles to go. Which I believe is the centre of the park. Oh wow. Like they've been blown over. Yeah, it's 
it's just uh, little pockets of uh, pine trees. And then there's new ones, and then there's areas where they've been cut down or they've been burnt. They look, sometimes they look like they've been burnt. Very bumpy road, the B7027. Also lots of loose gravel. Could definitely live in these woods, nobody would find you. Huh. I think that was a shortcut. obviously doing a slower route. I did choose a slower route but I didn't realise it would take me half an hour. I'm in Loch Trool, which is a forest park, and I've just bought some water because I am massively dehydrated. I think I might even have sunstroke. But it's been a crazy day. Riding, I've been riding down little country lanes that are full of gravel. And it's been quite hard work. The birds are twittering. I don't know what birds they are. I'm useless to birds now. I used to be able to know all the different birds twittering. This one's just chattering all like a like techno bird. Anyway, I'm gonna down about two two or three bottles of water now. Try and hydrate. Oh, the blue tits. Sure enough, blue tits. Okay, so we've just been to Loch Trawl, um, which was very nice. Lots of little walks. It is in a forest. It's quite nice. It's a, a managed pine forest. Getting a bit overexposed today. It's very hot. I've drunk lots of water. Try not, to, try not to be in the sun too much on the way over here, but I think it's going to be inevitable. I'm going to get cooked again. I'm glad I got my, my mesh on though, because uh, otherwise heat stroke would have set in. I don't want that. So basically going back way back the way we came. Uh, not sure if I recorded this on the way in. It's uh, a bit later in the day now, half past five. Thought I'd uh, have a little break at Loch Trool or Glen Trool, I think it is. Gave myself an hour and a half. To chill out a bit. I don't want to be riding all day. Of 
Although I'm now, look, this is, I'm riding in rush hour. What a nightmare. At least the roads aren't all gravelly. I think that's what I came out of. That was uh, that was pretty crazy going across the country there, across all the farms and uh, there was a lot of loose gravel and wood of Cree RSPB. Newton Stewart, eight miles. Right, okay. I'm not sure if we're going to Newton Stewart. We might be. God, I'm tired. It's exhausting. That's enough. See you in a bit. It's a nice church. I think I've got any bugs on my screen. I don't think so. It's all good. So this is the A712 and it's it's a good surface, it's very grippy and there's lots of little twisty turns. of uh, fox gloves, dry stone walls, some dips and drops and corners and there's birds like that out there, can you see that? What's that? I think it's a buzzard but I don't know. Might that be an eagle? No, a buzzard. It's a buzzard. Well, that could be an eagle. I don't know. It's pretty big. scenery Yeah. 
bit of a sludge away. Scottish Power. So this is a hydro dam. Hydro Power Dam. So that was the Platten Shore, Plattering Shore Lock and Hydro Dam, Hydro Power Dam. I didn't stop. Well, I did stop a little bit, but I uh, didn't go to the visitor centre because it's uh, it's half past six and it's shut. now we're going to head home. So we've had a reasonably good day uh, riding in the Galloway Forest Park. Um, had a nice lunch at the Harbour Inn or the Harbour Hotel in Port Patrick. Had a little ride around Stranra, but generally got a good idea of what this area is like. Reminds me a little bit of um, some of the Pennines a little bit like this. Some tree management and stuff. Or anyway, up in Durham or Cumbria. Somewhere up there. Not really that far away from it. Not seen a red squirrel yet though. I don't suppose I've been travelling slow enough to see one. So we've got about three quarters of an hour ride. The sun's still up. I think the sun's still uh, a couple of hours yet, so I might just take my time, take some pickies, in any rush. Look at the mountains. Exhausted though. Haven't hit any birds yet. Plenty of insects have impaled themselves on me. Cleaned my visor twice. Still got bugs hitting them. The mesh jacket is working really well. Although I am feeling it on my neck, the sun is. Maybe I need some sort of neck guard. Quite like the idea of this um, charging while recording, which is pretty cool. Because I've got this external audio mic adapter for the GoPro 5, GoPro Hero 5. It's got a, um, an external, it's got another power out, so just running it to a power bank in my tank bag which is pretty good it means I can record infinitely until my card runs out not that I want to because that's that would be crazy editing it allows me to uh, not have to stop to change batteries so we've got 20 29 miles left I think we've probably got that 50 miles of fuel. So that's good. Oh, I just saw a red squirrel. A dead one. Flattened on the road. That's my first ever red squirrel. That's not a good star, is it? New Galloway.
Kenbridge. of Ken to my right there so we went over the bridge Ken bridge over the water of Ken not river Ken Ken don't get a river he gets water some cows see plenty of cows out of the forest now back into the uh, cattle country there's another lock down there maybe that's Ken Lock or Lock Ken I wonder that's got to be Ken Lock look at the size of it Lock Ken Oh, he gets a lock. He might not get a river. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> 